Dog Mafia, the dirty business of the puppy trade. The Velpen Nest Case. A man leaves a flat in the 7th district of Vienna. He's carrying a sports bag. He walks quickly along the street. Nobody can tell what's in the bag casually carried by his side. The man is nervous and keeps looking around. After about 100 meters, he goes into a shabby shop. The shop sign shows a puppy and a mobile phone number. You can just read the faded writing, Alpha Zoo. The customer is waiting already. What is Alpha Zoo, also known as Snoopy Dogs or Velpen Nest? It's just one example of the organized criminal puppy trade in Europe. The following pictures show the big business of puppy trading and the lies that are told to ensure that the trade continues in Europe. On AlphaZoo's website and in all its literature, everything sounds legitimate and professional. But all the claims that are made, like original puppies from Austria, reliable dog breeding and many years of experience, are just a front for professional puppy smuggling. In the shabby store, the puppy trade is booming. Every day, customers call in, attracted by advertisements for puppies in newspapers. These puppies are too cheap, and their origin is unknown. The result? The owner gives plenty of assurances, but no direct answers when more specific questions like those below are asked. Is this the meaning of security? Where in milk do the puppies come from? How many adult breeding dogs does the company have? We're told we're unable to visit the company in milk or see the parents. Many questions remain unanswered. When we ask where the puppies come from, we're shown a picture of a house with a rottweiler in the garden. It's somewhere by the A1 motorway, but too difficult for visitors to find, the seller informs us. He says they've had bad experiences in the past when people have visited. It has upset the dogs. We start to follow the dog trader. It's clear that he does not go to Melk to the west of Vienna to get more puppies for the shop. The puppies definitely come from outside of Vienna. We follow him. He doesn't realize that we're doing this as he drives east towards Hungary. Close to Gyor comes the surprise. He stops in front of the house that we've seen in the photo with the Rottweiler outside. But this is not an idyllic place, rather a concrete warehouse beside a family home. We hear the gentle whimpering of countless puppies coming from the building. We continue to watch the dog trader. Every weekend he drives to Gyur and fills the sports bag we've already seen with puppies which are then taken to Austria. Several times a day puppies are taken to the shop. The only clue to the dog's origin for the attentive customer is the large amount of Hungarian newspaper they're sitting on. Who's behind this company, which has more than 20 years' experience in the puppy trade? We get some information from the comments of dozens of former customers, but it's hard to be entirely sure, as they've changed their name many times in an attempt to deflect such negative publicity. Recently, when we researched the company on the web, on entering the address for AlphaZoo, we were directed to a new site. The new name, Velpennest, formerly known as Snoopy Dogs, and formerly known as AlphaZoo. The company is registered to a different address, and not the house we visited close to Gyur. Back in the shop, after the usual sales talk and the usual lies about the puppy's origin, we're also told that the dogs are chipped and inoculated. We're given the name of a vet in Vienna, who we're told should be able to answer all of our questions. Some of the animals in the shop look sick and weak, but we watch as they're purchased despite their condition. Of course, only cash is taken and no receipts or papers given.
With a hidden camera, we visit the vet and confront her with some of our information regarding the condition and welfare of the puppies. We also spoke with former customers of the company. After months of observation and investigation, we're sure that this is professional puppy smuggling. Four Paws then informs the authorities. But dogs are seen as a product under the law and their trading has been made considerably easier by the admission of the Eastern European countries to the European Union. The smuggling is omnipresent on the eastern borders of Austria, but fines, confiscations or other police interventions are rare.